Celebrity, true or false? You can't handle the truth. Okay, here we go. Uh, first one up. Is it true or false? You bought your first house at age 16. Is that a true or false story? True. Is this from uh, from f- money from uh, from film career, singing? What was it for you? My singing. Yeah, Your singing. I got my record deal after I did my Coke commercial. Your Coke commercial. I bought my house with my advance. How'd you get into a Coke commercial as a teenager? How did that work? They called my high school. Come on. They said they were looking for a male black 16 through 18 for a Coke commercial and. I was the last person to show up for the audition, and I got the gig. <laughs> Changed my life. So, okay, so you're just walking through the halls of your high school, and somebody pulls you aside and says that, hey, we got a call. No, they called They called the music department. Okay, and you were in the music department? Yes, sir. Okay, so you've always you've so, always been attracted to music, right, I guess then? Music is my first love, still to this day. So what did you do in that Coke commercial? What you do? Um, I'm singing on the bus. I got a backpack on, and the way the commercial ends, I end up with a really big smile at the end, wearing headphones in the backpack. It's a very, very, very famous commercial. It changed my life when I was um, 15. And um, my mother had to co-sign on the house because you got to be at least 21 to own a property in mm-hmm. California. And she co-signed, and I bought the house. Wow. Life-changing commercial. Now you live in Atlanta, home of Coca-Cola. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> great. How about that? Uh, second one, true or false? A few times. True or false, Tyrese Gibson? You have a big-time fear of owls. <laughs> Is that true or false? True. Why? Why Why do you have a fear of owls? I just don't like them. It's no different <laughs> than people that don't like rats. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a majestic bird for many people, though, Tyrese. You... Yeah, well, not for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, next up, um, when you were growing up, you dreamed of becoming a trash collector when you were a young child. Is that a true story as well? Very true. Okay. What did, what did what appealed to you? Just the truck and working hard or something I like just, that? I just, you know... Anything that feels alpha for me from childhood, all my big homies were alphas. Everything I know about what I identify with as a real man is is an alpha. And I just thought there's a lot of jobs out there, but it takes a real man, a real alpha to be picking up trash. And at the time, this was long before people were pulling up to the trash can and it has the automatic thing that kind of picks it up yes. with forklift and yeah, right. this was like this is when real men was like pulling up and you know they wore their back braces and they was lifting that trash mm-hmm. up and, and right. doing that thing. So I used to go like ten houses up the street. I put on like three or four belts around my waist, regular belts yeah. and every week I just would help the trash man. And that's what I wanted to be. I, that was long before I ever knew I could sing. Long, way long before any thought of acting. And um, yeah, I knew that they had medical and dental benefits. And <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I was sure. like coming home every day smelling like trash. It had to be pretty sexy to your girlfriend or your wife. Uh, and so that's what I wanted to do. All right. The last one for you here on Celebrity True or False, Tyrese Gibson. True or False, you uh, you have a fully functioning Benihana-style restaurant located right in your backyard, and you call it Gibsy Hana. Is that true or story? It's true, and you can Google it. <laughs> there's okay. videos, there's photos. I've been um, partying in that thing for the last 10 years. So do you yeah. do you operate it yourself? Do you do you no, chop no, no. things up I yourself? Got, all my employees are from Benny Hunt. <laughs> like like you go straight to the fruit of the vine is what you're saying. You go straight to the Benny Hanna and then, and you get them in and they they do their thing for you in your backyard. Yeah, yeah, it's called poaching. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I uh I've I've, I've like definitely that. poached it. The thing is I've been doing this for years, and I, you know, I don't mean no disrespect to the Benihana uh, mm-hmm. Empire, mm-hmm. but if 
if I'm ever looking for someone to do something, mm-hmm. I normally show up to their job where they're doing what I want them to do for me. Mm-hmm. And then I'll just ask them, let me get your phone number. I don't want you to leave your job, but here and there, I'm going to call you and see if you want to take advantage of this opportunity. I mean, I even, you can Google this as well. I, I even built a full cleaners with the iron and press steam. I built a full cleaners in my garage. Um, they actually did a story on it on TMZ, which is kind of random. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, so it's just one of those things where my brain has always been, if I see it, if I like it, if I want it, mm-hmm. then I'm going to do it. And um, the idea came from a complaint that I've heard from most of my celebrity VIP friends that we can't go nowhere, can't eat nowhere, can't do anything, especially in L.A. because the paparazzi and the cameras is always messing with us. So I, I don't want to name drop, but if you can think of anybody who's an A, B, and C list star, director, writer, producer, you name it, mm-hmm. all ate in my backyard. And we've had some of the most legendary parties. <laughs> and um, it's been amazing. The crazy thing is I'm actually selling the house right now. And that's the hardest part about letting the house go. Because <laughs> there's so many moments that, um, you know, so many moments. Michael Bay, John Singleton, just you name it. Sure. Paul Walker. First time I used it, first time I built it was for my daughter's fifth birthday. And she's 14 now. And Damn. so if you pull up an image right now and you type in Gipsy Hana, you'll see an image of Paul Walker, Vin Diesel, and Will Smith with his daughter all sitting in my backyard at Benny Hanna's. That has to be legendary. That has to have been a legendary the day. Most. And then across from Paul Walker and Vin yeah. was actually Dexter and Bernice King, who was the son and daughter of Martin Luther King and Coretta Scott King. All of this happened on the debut. The first time I ever built it and used it, and so I knew that I was like, if we're starting this way, it's only up from here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should say so. And it's too bad I never got there, too, because uh, I'll be honest with you, Tyrese, I'm a messy eater. So if I'd yeah. gotten something on my shirt, you're telling me I could have gone in your garage and gotten it fully cleaned and laundered and pressed yeah, we as well. We could have got you all the way right. We could have washed, <laughs> pressed you up. Wow. Put you in a regular T-shirt so we took care of you. <laughs> And then had that thing delivered to you. Here's the thing. I even had the plastic <laughs> to go on top. So once we press it, put the plastic full on. Full service. It was full service, baby. You can Google all this stuff, man. I don't lie. I don't lie to my friends. All right. You know, I don't make stuff up, man. It's, it's, I went all out. And then I went and poached like four people that work at the cleaners. <laughs> But, you know, if you work five days a week, man, just come see me on Saturday. <laughs> Take care of you. Everything in my house. I put. I spend so much money on the cleaners every year because there's certain things that you just can't put in the washing machine. That's true. I was like, man, I'm not spending all this money. I said, I'm going to hire this guy. I'm going to pay him per hour. And he's just going to get me right with every suit, button up, and pants, and everything, you name it. And you work at the cleaners. So you know how to operate all this stuff in here. <laughs> yes, sir. Where have you been all my life, Tyrese? <laughs> my God, this is fantastic. I really am inspired by every word that's dropping out of your mouth right now. This is amazing. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.